What's up, Leo? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? Come on in here. Hop on the couch. Kick your feet up. Relax and enjoy yourselves, boo. Grab your weed, your blunt, your cigarettes, your drink, your fruit, your water. Hell, I don't give a fuck. Just do you. But allow me to say thank you to all my beautiful subscribers for all the love and support that you showed me. Because you don't have two boos and you do. And for that, it truly means the world to me. I love you so much for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. And if you'd like to donate to my channel, all my information will be down below in the description box. All right, my lovely Leos. This will be a reading on how your person is feeling about you. And the cards that I pull where we're going to do a different spread. You know what I'm saying? Do some new shit. You know what I'm saying? Change it up a little bit. Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Strength card, Leo, that's you. And we got the instrumentals playing in the background. So since this is a Leo reading, you know, we got the Leo instrumentals going. That's Whitney Houston instrumentals, just in case you didn't know. Okay, the death card, Scorpio. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Justice, Libra. And Eight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Magician, Virgo. Three of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let me fix these cards. Where did that thing at? Okay. This person who can't eat, can't sleep, can't stop thinking about you stressing, having sleep this nights, nice, crying themselves to sleep at night when they do go to sleep because they miss you so much. Miss you. What the? What the? They miss you so much, okay? Missing you like crazy. Wondering if you're going to ever return because they want to manifest a relationship with you, okay? This person uh, wants to start a new love, passionate endeavor with you, so they will be trying to communicate with you. Um, rushing in to give you some type of passionate communication, but they know you're looking for karmic justice. Hell, you're looking for some of y'all looking for revenge for what they did. But they ready to bring, they ready, they want to rebalance the scales of justice, okay? This could be a karmic. But yeah, this person could, could be trying to muster up the strength and courage to approach you, you know? Since they messed up, you know? After, since they caused an unexpected ending. Could be due to this Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This applies to your life and lead the rest. All right? Yeah, they're stressing because they want to start a new love and passionate endeavor, endeavor with you. But you could be holding back your feelings. All right, since they cause an unexpected ending due to this Queen of Pentacles, and you looking for tour, uh, uh, you looking for karmic justice, hell, revenge because they manifested a relationship with them, but they've been missing you like crazy. All right, wanting to rush in to give you some type of passionate communication, but this also could be, they could be. Want to, uh, you looking for karmic justice because they was intimate because this is also my intimate car and they could have been traveling going to see this other person just apply to your life and leave the rest but they want to rebalance the skills of justice they, justice okay all right let's um clarify see what we get yeah. Yeah, but you've been doing good. Okay, you moved on. You've been doing good. Looking good, smelling good. You got the bag, but this person been going through a profound sadness that they had to move on from you and the relationship. Okay. 
Let's see what we got here. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, um, they stress it because you still, they future wife, they wifey, their ideal woman. Okay? You could be currently pregnant by them or the mother of their children. But they still see happiness, joy, and success with you, success, growth with you. You bring out the kid in them. They're their happiest when they with you. Okay? Oh, so sweet. But yeah, you look for the karmic justice for them. Uh, starting a uh, brand new emotional beginning with somebody else. So this is why you don't want nothing they have to offer because they offered their cup to somebody else. And you're tired, bored, and you're over, and you're just disappointed. Okay? But this person wants to... This person will be trying to flirt with you, get back into your good graces. You know, we'll be trying to communicate with you, but it will be a small offer. It's a cup. It's a page. You know, because and they because they still feel a strong pull towards you. And like I said, they could be trying to muster up the strength and courage to come come towards you. Even though you know some of y'all are holding y'all feelings back. Okay, yeah, but you felt like they betrayed you because they was willing to they were was willing to work. Uh, they was meeting up with another person willing to work on a relationship with them. Yeah, this um they could have moved on with a Capricorn. They could have. Yeah, they're going to move on because they had a sex, alcohol, or drug, substance abuse just applied to your life. But I think they moved on with this Capricorn right here. And this is why you don't want nothing they have to offer. It's why you've been holding back your feelings. Okay? But they, this is why they're stressed. Because you're still their their wife, their future wife, their ideal woman. They still, they're, they're, they're still their happiest with you. So they hate that they had to move on from you. Okay? All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So it was a fight. You probably had to compete for their love, fight for their love. Yeah, it was a fight due to their secret mistress. You found out about their secret mistress, and it caused some harsh words and a fight that caused the breakup. Okay, and this person has been feeling regret and remorse ever since, crying over spilled milk. They can't believe all their love, um, time, and energy has been gone down the drain because they were dealing with somebody with their past. Some of y'all could have been... Um, uh, um, Sagittarius, but they want to bring balance back into the relationship. Yeah, but you still guard it. You still don't trust them. Okay, because you still feel a little guarded for what they did. And you took a stance and you meant what you said and said what the fuck you meant. Because you're not trying to see eye to eye or compromise and see halfway. And this is why they're crying over spilled milk. Can we deal with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius? Yeah, you took some time to be alone. Or you could be accusing them. Still got your guard set because they dealt with a, a, a Virgo. Just apply it to your life and lead the rest. But you took some time out to be alone. Yeah, but they've been self-evaluating and reflecting on what they was doing and what they wasn't doing in the relationship. And they know you invested a lot. And they're ready to come invest now. Could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Yeah, ever since they cut you off. Okay, this person was mean, very mean, cold, blocked heart. But they ready to um, come forth with some truthful communication. 
Excuse me. Yeah, because they still see a family with you. You could be dealing with this Gemini, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could because slow down. All right, they still see a, a happy family with you. Still want a happy family with you, a happy life. Okay, could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Even though they walked away and found out that the grass wasn't greener on the other side, could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, now they feeling, um, they stressing, having sleepless nights, can't eat, can't sleep, can't stop thinking about you, can't stop thinking about the situation, all right, and worry, living in fear, yeah, because they stressing that they walked away from you, and then, yeah, they stressing that they walked away from you dealing with this Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You've been doing good. Like I said, you've been doing good. Living good, eating good, smelling good. You got the bag. and But they, like I said, going through a profound sadness that they had to move on from you in the relationship. Okay? But they will be trying to communicate with you, trying to flirt with you to get back in your good graces. Because, like I said, they miss you like crazy. They've been missing you like crazy. Okay? And for some of you, you guys will listen to them. You guys are win willing to hear what they got to say. All right, but when my queen of swords pop up, she's heartbroken, torn, and scorned. She ain't playing no games, right, especially with this person. So if they, they know when they do come, they better come correct or don't come at all. Or you're going to cut their ass off. We could be dealing with this queen of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person wants to manifest a relationship with you. Okay? They be dealing with a Virgo. And they, they because they got clarity now. And they're ready to <clears throat> reveal their truth to you. Some of you, they're ready to reveal their truth to you about it, uh, Virgo. Yeah, they they want to meet meet up, and uh, so you guys can work on um, willing. So they so you guys can work on the relationship because you move them. Okay, they move by you. Or they could we want to um, open up about how they went. And start a new relationship with somebody else. It's applied to your life later. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Goodness. This car's flying all over the place. Yeah, but this person wants to offer you a solid, stable beginning. After they offer somebody else a solid, stable beginning. You could be dealing with an Aries. This could be the father of your children. Could be a little bit older than you, older than you but they don't have to be. All right, very wise and stern, go-getter, stubborn. They wear the highway type people. They want to offer you a solid, stable beginning. You guys are married, okay? They be setting up some spying on your social media because they can't let you go. They've been holding on to you like a vice grip, <clears throat> okay? Or if some of y'all, y'all could have saw, excuse me, if, they, if they're not spying on you, if you don't have a social media spying on you in real life, and for others, you could have saw something online where they was keeping something to themselves. Just apply to your life and lead the rest. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, they could have been keeping to themselves when Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, or Scorpio came back around. <clears throat> Excuse me. But this person has changed, and they hoping that the will will turn into will turn in their favor. All right, something came to a full circle with this person. You could be dealing with Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Yeah, this person was a player, very in and out, very unstable in their energy. But they will be rushing in to give you some type of passionate communication. Could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, because you, they still feel that you're a perfect match, match made in heaven. And at one point, yo, your soul's were. You see, you couldn't get enough of each other. They feel that your souls are magnetically connected. All right? You could be dealing with a Gemini. Yeah, this person is ready to do the right thing. Want to take this commitment to... Want to take this relationship to a higher level of commitment. They're ready to do the right thing now because they got clarity. They changed. You guys could have been married or in a long-term relationship. And for some of you, they could have had you in a love triangle with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Taurus.
Yeah, because they still love you and still feel that you're their soulmate. They like they can talk to you about anything and you don't judge them. You no, know, they like staring at you because they find you very attractive and pretty to look at. Could be dealing with this Two of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or you feel that, yeah, because they've been acting like ever since they've been without you. That everything is fine, but everything is not fine. You see all them knives in, in, in her. Okay, that's how they feel. They've been going through it, stressing, having sleepless nights. I tell you, they can't eat, can't sleep without you. But they pretend to the world that everything is cool. But they're not cool. Because they miss you. Because you're their soulmate. Could be dealing with a um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, because they want to offer you a passionate beginning. Ain't all they want to offer you. You could be dealing with a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, they're ready to take a leap of faith with you. And they don't care where you guys may end up. They're just willing to take that chance with you. Could be dealing with an Aries, Scorpio. Yeah, but they had you and somebody else literally on a stream. You know what I'm saying? They could have took a leap of faith with this with a Capricorn. And you felt like they took you for granted due to this Capricorn. But there was some toxic energy hanging over your relationship. Because you literally carried the relationship. And this relationship felt like it was overburdened. As if it was depleting your energy. You'd be dealing with it. Um, Aries Leo Sagittarius. You feel like they took you for granted because they had another nine of cups. Or, or you could have felt like they took you for granted because they had a drug or alcohol substance, a drug substance or an alcohol uh, addiction. It just apply to your life and leave the rest. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, this person had other options. Could have been dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, they was juggling you and somebody else. And you're looking for karmic justice, hell, revenge for some of you. All right? And they know you are. They want. That's why they want to rebalance the scales of justice. They want to bring balance back into the relationship with juggling you and somebody else. Could be dealing with a Libra. Yeah, they know you're looking for, they want to, they know you're looking for karmic justice from this third party situation they had you in. Or that they had. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They ready to build. They really build and have a family with you. For some of you, they built and had a family with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or it don't matter the sign. Yeah, they walked away and built a family with somebody else. And this is why you still holding on to that. Still don't trust them. But this person was very charismatic. Knew all the right things to say. Smooth talker. Smooth criminal. Could have had a lot of suitors. Stubborn a little bit too much into themselves. But they are go-getters and they know what they want. And they're about to initiate some type of action. Could be dealing with this King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Dang, that flew all the way out. Yeah, they, this person has been feeling stuck without you. Don't know what to do. Okay. Could be dealing with Aries, Leo, I'm Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, they want a rebirth with you. Okay, after this unexpected ending, could be dealing with a Scorpio. Yeah, after they was causing unexpected energy because they was feeding their energies to other things and other people. Could have been dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, they ready to offer you the world and give you the world now. After they was feeding their energies to Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, uh, Taurus. But for some of y'all, y'all not interested in anymore. They feel like there was a lesson learned and it's over, finish you. You done. Because they was feeding their energies to other things and other people. Yeah, because they offered their cup of love to somebody else. So you're just no longer interested. Because you're dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, but you guys were married and had a happy home, had a happy life. Okay? And they want that back. Happy hubby, happy wife. They want it back. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, they will be coming towards you to give you some type of passion. They will be coming towards you in a hurry to give you some type of passion and communication because they're ready to move forward with you. Okay? You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
a cancer, but there will be passionate communication going back and forth between the two of you. It's, yeah. So give me a green heart. Let me know you guys made it. Still with me. Get you one more card. Yeah, because they still see happiness, joy, and success and growth with you. Okay? You bring them joy. You bring them happiness. And they know this now. They got clarity and they know this now. They know you the one for them. They know they messed up and made a mistake. Okay? You could be dealing with another Leo. All right? Let's get you some more messages on how they feel. Yeah, like I said, they, they got clarity now. Back then, they didn't have clarity. They didn't they didn't value what they wanted when they had you. Because you see, he she got coins in her hands, but she looking over, over there where it's glitter, where it's glittering and shining. So obviously, you know what I'm saying, they went over there to see. They went over there and found out that everything ain't glitter, ain't gold. And now they got clarity, okay? And they want you. You are, you are who they want to be with because you're their soulmate too. You're their soulmate. Okay, you you the one bring them joy and happiness. You the one they want to be with. Okay, so let's get you an advice card, and I'll leave it here. share and subscribe leave me a green heart let me know you're still with me all right we got eight dedicated efforts so let me read it Creating and man maintaining satisfying relationships takes effort and diligence. You've shown that you have what it takes and that you're dedicated. Through your life experiences, you've learned some valuable interpersonal skills. Use these tools to continue to nurture your relationships with family, friends, and your partner. It's easy to lose focus, especially when situations become difficult. However, you have the integrity and discipline to Continue to work at improving your relationships with others. Your efforts will be rewarded. This is a good time to learn more about the people you are currently in a relationship with. The more you understand a person's beliefs, the easier it is to comprehend the motives behind his or her actions. This greater understanding will go far in fostering better communication. Learning new communication skills will also be useful at this time. You have what it takes to sustain positive, loving, supportive relationships. Keep up the good work. All right, me love, so I'm going to leave it here. And if this resonated with you guys, go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs up. If not, you can give me a big thumbs down. I really don't give a fuck as long as you take heed to the message. All right? So thanks for watching. And until next time, same bad time, same bad channel. All right, deuces.